Hello everybody, welcome you all to the Robonic Systems uh, Pick Microcontroller Video Programming Tutorials. Uh, before you start, please do install the softwares uh, that you get in our CD, uh, Micro C Pro for Pick and Pick Simulator ID and WinPick. Uh, um, now let's get started. First let's uh, start the LED blinking uh, program. Now double click on the Micro C icon that you find in the desktop. You'll see the Micro C Pro launch. The Micro C is a very nice IDE with uh, and very user friendly and uh, it has got nice cool features. There you see this is IDE and uh, I'll be explaining uh, all the tabs and all the menus that you will be having here. Um, so first let's start a new project. Go to project, new project, uh, you'll see the project visit launch. Uh, go to next and uh, here you can choose the microcontroller that you're working with. Uh, now we are using pic 16 f 84 uh, please select it and go to next and uh, here you can uh, select the device clock uh, I'm going to use a 10 megahertz crystal so I'd uh, better leave it uh, as it is and if you're using 20 you put it as 20 if you're using 4 put it as 4 uh, then click next uh, choose the location for your project here uh, I've created a folder called as micro C in my desktop so I'm going to store my files there and I'm going to uh, uh, open an another new folder uh, it'll be LED blinking and the project name will be LED blinking I'm gonna save it next next finish you'll see the default uh, word main block generated uh, before uh, I start you, um, let's uh, before we start programming, uh, let me uh, introduce you to the Pick Simulator IDE. Pick Simulator IDE is this ocean of Pick Simulator. This is a trial version uh, uh, that you get on a CD. Please double click on it uh, to start. You'll see this uh, message. Click OK, and uh, this is the Pick Simulator IDE. You could uh, access all the registers, see what's happening inside PIC and uh, the very good simulator. Alright, uh, you got uh, first go to options and uh, go to select microcontroller. You will see a list of microcontroller. This is mostly for PIC 12F and 16F series and uh, we are going to use PIC 16F84. Uh, do not worry, PIC 16F84 is almost the same as uh, PIC 16F84A uh, except that 84A is the better, uh, is the latest version click 16F84, click select and then uh, go to options if you have uh, this compact microcontroller view uh, checked please uncheck it and then go to tools microcontroller view there you go you see the microcontroller now let me explain this microcontroller to you PIC 16F84 or PIC 16F84A has two ports basically uh, port A and port B uh, Port A has 5 pins uh, as you see RA0 to RA4 is the port B and RB0 to RB7 is the port B and also you have the power supply VSS and VDD uh, and you have uh, MCLR uh, MCLR is uh, something specific to pick you have to pull it high with a 10k resistor in order to for the uh, program to start running and uh, this is the clock oscillator uh, where you give the um, clock pulse input uh, remember we selected 10 uh, we said we selected 10 megahertz uh, while we were uh, setting up the project uh, that is what the 10 megahertz crystal will be connecting it here and you have this project settings here you can go and edit your uh, project settings anytime also you have the code explorer if you have, have some functions and uh, global includes you can just select it, uh, access it easily from here and uh, you have the library manager where you have lots of uh, cool inbuilt uh, C libraries, hardware libraries and you have the routine list you have the project manager where you can manage projects, manage files inside the projects yeah coming back to the PIC microcontroller this is a simulator ID RA0 uh, port A in any micro in any PIC microcontroller will be usually uh, will usually contain analog to digital conversion converters internal analog to digital converters 
port be uh, is a, as a digital port you can use it either for uh, digital input or digital output also the analog port port a can be used for uh, digital uh, signals as well you can also configure it to work it as digital inputs or digital outputs all right that's it about uh, that's a brief introduction about pic microcontrollers now let's start programming in the start the program you will get a default uh, void main block um, that is where the main block is uh, is where uh, the code runs in any C program that is where the code is being executed so let's uh, let me like uh, what is my objective here I am going to make the port B LED blink uh, on off on off so um, my requirement would be I am going to define port B as output how do I uh, define port B as output there is a register called stress registers TRIS TRIS is common and can either use if you are configuring port A use stress A or if you are configuring port B use stress B is equal to 0 x 0 0 0 now I configure port B as output uh, if you want to uh, configure port B as input use 0 x FF now you are wondering why I am using uh, something weird like 0x ff we normally use numbers to define uh, now let me explain uh, if you are working on windows go to start all programs you go to accessories and go to calculator now if you want to view the scientific view just uh, click view scientific you will get this uh, scientific thing here so let me put uh, 0x ff let me convert it to the decimal number system that we normally use in our daily life is 255 now let me convert it to binary this is where uh, this is the interesting part if you convert it to binary you see what do you see you see all ones that means uh, uh, configuring port b uh, uh, trace b equal to 0x ff will make uh, the port as inputs now let me configure it as outputs 0x00 zero zero zero. so put 0x00 zero zero here click on hex zero, 0x0 zero. then click on uh, binary you get the 0 alright now uh, pick doesn't have an operating system uh, something has to tell the code that it is run again and again so uh, inside most programs you will see an uh, ever running loop in this case it's going to be while one this room loop will run forever uh, when the code starts running first uh, uh, the pick executes tris b equal to 0x00 it will see it 0x00 so it makes uh, port b as outputs output and then it will come here while one the uh, code inside this part will be running forever so let me make uh, LEDs in port B go high port B is equal to 0x FF here interesting part what's FF now let me do that again FF convert into binary this will make uh, port B's LED all LEDs glow from here's remember uh, this is the most significant bit RB7 is the most significant bit it's the upper bit RB6, RB5, RB4 all LEDs would glow so uh, if I make it uh, what if